Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers knockoff review. This is the oversized Optimus Prime trailer from the guys over at Weiji Young. This is designed to go with their MPP-10 or their M01. That's the oversized Masterpiece Optimus Prime or their oversized Evasion Masterpiece. Now, I missed out on these trailers the first time round, so when I saw they were available again at Sir Toys, I made sure I added it to my basket before they completely sold out. Looking at the back of the box, we've got various pictures, actually pretty well done. They haven't just used Takara's pictures, they've done their own with their own product. Bravo. <laughs> it also tells us that with the trailer, the MPP-10 is 53 centimeters in length, and the M01 is 52 centimeters in length. The trailer itself is a very impressive 39.5 centimeters, and it just shows us that we can also include some of our various accessories. They can be stored within the trailer. Without further ado, let's crack this open. Straight out of the box, we have a truly massive piece of plastic. Uh, a few of my friends said, oh, please tell us that the trailer's naff. Uh, tell us that it's a complete waste of money so we don't spend money on it. it, it it's not. It's fantastic. It's absolutely incredible. As you notice, there is a big chunky hole here where we would have an Autobot logo. Now, we do get these two pieces. They are like the shape of Autobot heads, but without any emblems on them because that would be breaching copyright. <laughs> We get Vector Sigma, a rather large version of him. And we also get a ridiculously huge die-cast key to Vector Sigma. Really, really solid. I mean, it is absolutely thick metal. Nice paint applications on there as well. Very shiny, shiny. We, of course, get Roller. This is based upon the Takara version of the mold. With Hasbro, we got the blue, more cartoon accurate Roller, but this is very nice nonetheless. Rather large size. Now, when I say he's big, I mean he is big, big. I mean, I think that's one and a half times bigger. I think that's what has been measured at. Now, I don't have the Takara version of the trailer. I do only have the Hasbro, but we do still have the same effect when we bring out the side legs that the stands come down. I think that's a really good touch. I love all of this chrome as well. The chrome is all the way across the sides here. We've got it all the way on the back. Lovely crystal clear lamps on the back there as well. It feels exactly like the Hasbro one, only bigger. The front legs work exactly the same as the official trailer. And yes, they are just as awkward to get out as the original. This has literally just been blown up and done to an extremely high standard. It plugs into MPP-10 and M01 exactly the same using those two ports on the legs. It just literally slides down. And of course, that's the same, same way as we can attach the trailer to roller. We can just flip the section up, flip this section round and bring this back off. Closing that off, and we can then use this adapter on top to connect to the trailer. Although, personally, I've never been a real fan of Roller moving the trailer. And just like back in those Diaclone days, our driver can drive Roller around. And as far as size goes, we almost have enough room in the back of the trailer to fit a leader class Optimus in there. Not quite enough clearance there, but that's a pretty good effort. And our regular masterpieces fit in there with no trouble whatsoever. Here he is in full-on repair bay mode, and I've got Spike sitting up there trying to do his best to help. We didn't get any missiles with this. I'm sure the original G1 toy had some rockets that used to fire out of the repair module at the top there. As you can see, not only can we store the gun and the axe, 
as per the uh, original Masterpiece trailer. We can also store the shield and the two swords that came with the M01. There's just a tab on the back of each and they just slot into the grooves behind the knives. It's the same with the shield, you flip the handle to the side and there's a groove in it which plugs into the tab on the back of the trailer. I haven't as yet found a way of storing the axe but I believe it can also be stored in there somehow. That's a nice little touch, isn't it? Now this personally is how I like to have it. I've got evasion mode in there being repaired. And I like to pretend that that's Marky Mark Wahlberg up there fixing Optimus up. Uh, just wish he had this in his garage in uh, Age of Extinction. Looking at the details on the inside of the trailer, they are pretty much identical. Albeit we have a couple of brackets just around here and they're what's having to the back of the sword. And we've also got an additional nub section just here. That again, that's what tabs in to the back of the shield. Other than that, the detailing is pretty much identical, just highlighted with that silver paint. Now, I completely forgot about the base mode when I did the review of the Second Chance uh, trailer. To be honest with you, I'd completely forgotten it even existed. Um, but of course, I was reminded that is actually how you're meant to launch Roller. Of course, this version is literally based directly off the Takara version, so there is no spring-loaded mechanism to launch Roller out. And there's no weapons that come with the pod here, so there's nothing that can fire. But that being said, it's still nice to have it opened up. Uh, it does take up an awful lot of room, though. Something else I would like to point out... It's very nice having the key to Vector Sigma and Vector Sigma himself, but there's nothing to store him on. He kind of just floats there. I would like a stand at least, at least with the reissue. Didn't we get that cardboard stand to hold him on? We do get these two seats. We get one here and we get one over here. And Spike does fit in there pretty nicely. I was kind of worried. They don't seem very deep, but he actually scales pretty well and he does slide in there. So there you have it guys, final thoughts, it's extremely well made, it feels a very professional job. If you own the MPP-10 or the M01, you know you're what you're going to be getting with this trailer. It is outstanding. I would have liked something to hold Vector Sigma. I would have also have liked some rockets for the section here. Uh, just, just to break it up a little bit, just to make it a little bit better different. I like that I've added the nubbins on here to store the additional weapons and I would have liked an Autobot logo. I appreciate they've given us the slots to put in there and we have to provide our own stickers. I would have just liked an Autobot sticker. You've already copied the exact mould of the MPP-10, the exact mould of the trailer. Really if they're going to do you for copyright I think they would have done it by now. Just give us the logos. <laughs> If you own either of the large Optimus Primes, I highly recommend you get in this trailer. It looks fantastic on display and it just, just finishes the Prime off. If you like this product, please click the link in the description below and that will take you through to the toys where this product is available. And until next time, for myself and the MPP-10 trailer, thanks for watching, goodbye.